is my membrane concept map for Cell Biology 2440. So starting off, we have a plasma membrane, which plasma membrane is a semipermeable membrane that encloses the cytoplasm and all organelles of the cell. Um, there are a couple of different models. There's the David and Denali model, which says that the membrane is made of phospholipid bilayer layer with proteins sitting on the outside. And then the most recent version is um, the, the Singer and Nicholson model, which is similar to the David and Denali model in the fact that it's made of phospholipid bilayer with proteins, but instead of the protein sitting on the outside, the proteins move through the phospholipid bilayer. Plasma membranes are made up of proteins and obviously a phospholipid bilayer, but proteins are a diverse or organic compound made from one or more folded polypeptide chains. Proteins can be broken up into several different things. First of all, they can be broken up into integral proteins, peripheral proteins, member membrane proteins, glycoproteins, or polyglycan proteins. Um, out of these integral proteins are proteins that can attach permanently to the membrane, whereas peripheral proteins are proteins that can only attach temporarily to the phospholipid bilayer. Um, glycoproteins are proteins that contain a carbohydrate group, whereas protoglycan are proteins that are bonded to a glycosamine um, glycan group formed by connective tissue. Um, proteins also can create membrane proteins, which membrane proteins are proteins that are attached to a membrane. Um, these are divided up into more groups. Um, they can create member channels, which the membrane proteins facilitate passive um, transport. And passive transport is when a substance is transported across a cell membrane without the use of excess energy. Um, and through that, passive transport can create channel-mediated passive transport, which is when materials passively diffuse through a membrane channel. Back up to membrane channel also um, goes down into ion channels, which are complex proteins that, um, that penetrate the membrane to create a new channel which leads down to gated ion channels, which tr um, transmembrane proteins only allow ion ions to pass under specific conditions. So basically gated ion channels can create um, specific conditions that have to be met to allow proteins to come through that membrane. Back up to membrane proteins, there's several different kinds and we have them listed here. Anchor membrane proteins help to orientate the cell towards the substrate. Transport membrane proteins actively transport materials across the plasma membrane. Receptor membrane proteins are complexes on the outside of the membrane that um, the materials can attach to. Uh, detergent molecules are molecules that purify, isolate, renature, and cellulize um, membrane proteins. Enzyme membrane proteins are enzymes found in or on the membrane, and monolayer uh, uh, um, associated membrane proteins are proteins that are associated with one layer of the phospholipid bilayer, whereas lipid-linked membrane-associated proteins are proteins that are specifically are associated with a specific phospholipid within the bilayer. Um, Protein-attached members, membranes of the uh, associated protein, are proteins that are associated with a specific protein within that cell membrane. Um, and then moving back up from proteins, we can go to the phospho phospholipid bilayer which is two layers of phospholipids that contain, help to contain and compose a membrane. Um, that phospholipid bilayer um, is made up of glycolipids, which are um, lipids with carbohydrates attached to it. Um, phospholipid bilayer is made up of a, hydroph a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. The hydrophilic head is the top of the phospholipid uh, bilayer, which is made of glycerol and phosphate groups. And then the hydrophobic tail is the bottom of the phospholipid um, made of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, and this is a nonpolar. So the hydrophobic, again, made up of a saturated and unsaturated fatty acid. A saturated acid is a, basically a carbon chain that cannot accept additional hydro hydrogen, whereas the unsaturated fatty acid is a carbon chain that can accept additional hydrogen. Back down to phospholipid, as we said, um, a phospholipid bilayer is made up of hydrophilic heads and hydrophobic tails, um, and when a, a molecule is both of these, it's called amphithatic. So this is basically when it has both the hydrophobic and hydrophilic. Okay, and then back from the 
uh, plasma membrane um, is also made up of sterols, which are subgroups of steroids that can help compose the cell membranes and give it fluidity. Um, and then sterols are a type of steroid, and steroids are polycytic acids found in plants and animals that act as hormones. Um, plasma membranes are selectively permeable, which basically means that they can only allow specific particles um, through the membrane whenever they want, so they can decide what comes in and what goes out. Um, and then also part of that is vesicles. Um, vesicles are made, um, made of one of the phospholipid bilayers. It's a cavity in which the cell makes from membrane material and used to transport material into or out of the cell. Then again, through plasma membrane, um, you can look into concentrated gradient, which is the gradual change of a concentration of a solute in the solution. Of the concentrated gradient, there's three different kinds of solution. There's isotomic, hypertonic, or hydro hydrotonic. Um, hydrotonic is when the extracellular environment is has lower levels of solute than the cell. Whereas hypertonic is when the extracellular environment has a higher level of solute than the cell. And then the isotomic solution is when the extracellular environment has equal levels of solute as the cell. From con the concentration gradient, we go down to electrochemical gradient, which is the measure of ions ability to diffuse through a cell membrane. Types of electrochemical gradients are active transport, simple diffusion, and osmosis. Active transport is where the enzymes move materials from high concentration to low concentration. Simple diffusion is when particles move from an area of high concentration to areas of low concentration. And osmosis is when materials pass through a semi-permanent layer um, of an area of low concentration to high concentration. And that's my membrane concept map. Thank you so much.